Hi, so today we'll do another mock using Tough Time AI. And today I'll do a mock that is a variation of a question that I was asked in my Google on-site round. And I'll be using a sort of pen and paper uh, to draw, uh, like write down as I do the mock. Uh, so we will go to the PM interview um, collection here and I'll pick a strategy question. So for now we have only picked a sort of design question. We'll pick this Google map one. And now we also have these uh, sort of uh, instruction that can sort of guide you like what framework to use and w some hints and all. Uh, I would recommend not using this a lot, but if you are uh, looking for some signal, you can uh, use these instructions. Hello there. I'm excited to dive into your strategic thinking today. We'll be discussing a three-year strategy for Google Maps. Are you ready to get started? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, let's get started. Great. So you're the product manager for Google Maps, and you need to present a three-year strategy to Sundar Pichai. What would be your key areas of focus for the strategy? Um, thank you for the question. Um, so I have some clarifying question before I uh, sort of uh, work on devising the strategy. So first of all, that um, is it a global uh, strategy for the product that we have to design, or like just for US? Because uh, I've seen generally like the teams, the PMs also have some geographical limit at times. Great question. This is a global strategy for Google Maps. We're looking at the product's impact on a worldwide scale. Okay. And um, my second question is that uh, Maps already has like billions of users and uh, Google overall is doing, um, has around 60 billion so uh, in revenue, but the contribution of Map as a product group uh, has not been to the level that is expected from product of this usage. So I would assume that one of the focus for us in the next three years should be uh, in driving monetization. Uh, but your thoughts on this, like what is the goal uh, that we are looking for this product strategy? You're right. Monetization is a key focus. We need to explore ways to drive revenue growth for Google Maps, given its massive user base. You should definitely consider that as one of your primary goals. That sounds good. Now, can I take a minute to jot down my thoughts before I move uh, proceed ahead? Absolutely. Take your time to organize your thoughts. I'll be here whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay, so the way I will progress is first I'll analyze different market forces, um, like what is the customer trends, what are some industry trends and all. Then we'll figure out a vision for the next three years that we want to focus on. And then I'll uh, draft an execution strategy uh, in terms of what strategic actions we will take to drive this strategy for three years. Uh, does that sound good? That sounds like a very comprehensive approach. Analyzing the market will provide crucial insights. And then developing a clear vision and execution strategy is key. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Okay, so uh, I'll start with the customer segment one and I'll uh, first walk you through the whole uh, what I wrote down and then we can figure out like top two or three things in the strategic insight that could drive our vision. So on the customer side like Google, there is a lot of uh, uh, like 20 plus generation that has grown with, grown with the map or like app 2.0 and have used maps overall um, and uh, is the first mode of going from point A to point B figuring out direction and they are pretty pro at using it. Then there's a segment who has sort of adapted to it, like professionals like us and others who have learned and now are daily using it. But uh, as uh, people get older and also the generation which is 50, 60 plus, they find really hard to use maps. Uh, and at times like uh, the language barriers could happen or like the vision and other things. So I think as a segment, we might be underrepresented or underused uh, in the seniors uh, category. Uh, and so that could be one segment sort of keep in mind and uh, as we devise this strategy. So that would be one on the customer side. On 
sort of industry side that I look at or competition. So there are a lot of new age players that are coming, uh, which are very uh, local focused, like there are India focused player, UK focused player who got, use a lot of rich data to create nice user experience. Uh, but they might be lacking somewhere in technology in comparison to Google, but they are nevertheless emerging threat. Then there is an Apple which controls the whole ecosystem of Apple apps and maybe will have more permission, better UI in certain cases. Um, so that is also one of our healthy competition. Um, so we do need to keep a distance uh, in a way, keep innovating uh, in order to be a clear choice for businesses and for customers uh, from different standpoints. Like Facebook also tried with Facebook Maps, uh, Uber I think and uh, Ola in India for example also have come up with own Maps technology to cut down on the cost. But if we have delivered a really superior solution, I think we, uh, that is something that we need to continue doing. Um, so that's the second point here, like competition is there and we need to driving down our differentiation. And Sort of third uh, thing that I think is the tech trend that is in uh, progress, like we are in the AI wave and everything is being agentic um, and then uh, there is a lot of focus on AR and VR lately, uh, not um, after AI is, is one of the trend that is expected to pick up. So these are something that we should keep in mind, like if we can make use of these technologies that might be a good wave to ride on. So that will be my third sort of um, strategic uh, insight. Does that sound good? Uh, does that sound These good? These are valuable insights. Okay. Identifying the different customer segments and their unique needs, especially the underserved senior segment, is crucial. Also, recognizing the competitive landscape and the potential for technological advancements like AI and ARVR is essential for staying ahead. Let's delve in deeper into these insights to shape your strategy. Yeah, and I think the fourth one also is that Google has unique advantage in some of these technology, like we were, um, have heavily invested in AI for a long time and have one of the top models, which is Gemini. So that is one thing that is our advantage. We also have been invested in AR and VR, but bit lightly, so not that advantageous for us. Um, then as a company, we have slowly also ramped up on the business side, like Google Cloud is there, which has relation, uh, our developer APIs are used in different places. So I think that is also another strength to sort of focus on. So I think uh, if I want to summarize like a sort of three takeaway uh, here is that senior segment is underserved. Uh, second is we have competition and the way to uh, leapfrog or to maintain the difference is to keep investing in the technology. And the third thing is that there are some clear technology uh, on a growth uh, sort of a, a rising curve that is uh, AI and to an extent AR, VR. And in AI, definitely we have an advantage, so we should press on those. And AR, VR, we might have to invest. So based on these three, I think our um, vision should be that how we can uh, leverage uh, our tech strength uh, to keep difference from, to drive down our monetization, to push our monetization in a way uh, that we also maintain our uh, distance over competition. Uh, I, I think a senior segment is something that I will uh, uh, sort of deprioritize a bit here, um, sort of in a three year strategy, like we will have some features sort of on customer benefit side. Okay, so there, are, so on the, so what we want to focus as a vision is uh, that to drive down monetization, we will do three things. Uh, one is first we will leverage, leverage our technology advantage and invest more in the AI, which is on the technology curve while slightly invest on AR, VR, where we don't have much. The second is that we will uh, also invest in having clear differentiation versus competition and other, which helps with our monetization and also helps us stay in the game. And third is we will think of in a senior citizen segment to uh, improve our UX, uh, again from an NPS standpoint, but this will be third uh, goal in the lower priority because this is no, does not align with our monetization, but I think it will be helpful for us as a business to serve our customer really well. So does that sound good to you? Yes, that sounds like a solid framework. Focusing on leveraging your technology advantages, particularly in AI and AR VR, is a smart move. And prioritizing monetization through differentiated offerings aligns with our goals. I'm interested to hear how you plan to address the senior segment while still keeping monetization in focus. Can you elaborate on your strategy for those three pillars? Yeah, that sounds good. So let me take us uh, 30 seconds to think through like how will we drive down, um, drive this execution. Absolutely. Take your time to think through the execution plan. I'm interested to see how you translate your vision into concrete actions, especially regarding the technology investments, competitive differentiation, and the senior segment focus.
So I could think of a couple of uh, things that we could do sort of on execution side that could help drive down this strategy, uh, like uh, drive this strategy, sorry. Um, so the first one is I'm thinking agent companion, uh, and we can call it like Gemini ma for maps. An idea here is that uh, there has always been talk of this travel buddy concept that uh, who remembers your travel preferences, guides you through different places, sees the things for you, explain you different areas. I think what we can introduce is Gemini for maps where uh, you can ask in voice about where you want to go, explore different places. Uh, when you point it to a place, it ha has already extracted the metadata from the maps and explain you those uh, places. Like if you are walking through uh, Golden Gate Bridge or Battery Spencer, it can tell you the history of the Battery Spencer and it can uh, tell you when was the bridge constructed. So uh, it will become the voice buddy uh, or tr sort of travel buddy that can help you plan, enjoy the things more, and we can also charge for it. While this is, I think, uh, came to me uh, as something that will be helpful for senior citizen because uh, it's based on voice and uh, it's AI intelligent, but I think this will be useful for general travel and uh, sort of medium and other segment. So it could be a nice way for us to charge uh, to our user base, which is billion plus users, and get like even one or two percent people start paying for this. So that would be the first uh, feature that I will uh, invest uh, under this strategy. Uh, we can think of the prioritization. But the second one I was thinking was that uh, a way that Gemini for business, a uh, map business. So today, like if you want to list, uh, and I ran a business uh, before uh, join, uh, like uh, my MBA, and there we, it was really hard time to upload photos, then put description and all to create your business. So that would, of course, be auto-generated. But uh, the second thing is that uh, as people write a lot of reviews on uh, Google, uh, we have to use other tools to figure out the insights and make product decision. So what if Google offers a tool to make sense or summarize all the reviews, present it in a form that can, it can be consumed? Uh, similarly, it gives me AP, uh, sort of intelligence to figure out that this is the area and this time more visitors come to me so I can plan my inventory better. So sort of AI based insight based on my maps data that I can directly get to help drive my business decision. So I think that would be a second feature that we'll invest and we could charge for it again. And the third one that I think uh, is uh, intelligence, map intelligence API for developers. So a lot of, I think new uh, experiences will be built like Pokemon and all will build, were built or Uber and all came up on the map. But lately there has not been much innovation. But map is a rich geo, uh, geo data that this is the hotspot where good ice creams is there. Uh, this is the area and this is the time that you should be going. Or maybe if you are a delivery vehicle, like where, what is the least resistance path? Uh, or how should the drone fly to one place to another. Um, so all of these uh, new things that are coming up, uh, map could become an intelligent way to uh, offer some usage for the, uh, some uh, API for the developers by you combining AI plus maps data. So I think that could be another where we could charge uh, users and also create a rich, uh, um, deliver something of value. So what do you think of these three? Hello. The, those are some very interesting ideas. Those are some very interesting ideas. Leveraging the Gemini model to create a travel companion could be a great way to differentiate maps and provide value for senior users. The idea of offering AI-powered insights for businesses is also promising, and expanding the Maps API for developers could open up new monetization opportunities. How do you envision prioritizing these features, and what would be the key steps to implement them? Yeah, um, so uh, thank you so much. So I'll cut down the interview here because it's uh, going long. But overall, uh, this was the demo that how you could prog uh, do a product strategy question. I think just if I debrief, there are some things that I did not get exactly right and something I got uh, good. I think things I do, did well was like asking clarifying questions, setting up the goal initially that this is what we are focused on, uh, and then uh, doing the market force analysis, which is partially done uh, right. I think what I could have been uh, narrowed on was I was on dual mind in senior citizen and monetization. I should be really clear that these were the insights, but I am focused on goal, which is monetization, so that my strategic actions are more sharper. And then uh, when thinking of the solution, I think uh, it was nice. I should not have gone in so much detail because it's a strategy question. And rather, I should just have said, like, these are the three ideas and then gone, gone deeper into implementation and follow-up question that the interviewer had later on. 
uh, but I think that there I uh, provided a lot more details. Um, in the real interview, I would s sort of be very lean uh, in providing um, uh, details in the case of a strategy question, like just uh, talk about uh, these ideas and then jump into execution, what metrics you will track and things like that. Uh, overall, I'm uh, sort of happy with uh, that I was able to put down a goal, understand different market forces, uh, and come up with some interesting ideas, which I think uh, MAPS team uh, should explore a couple of them. Uh, I hope you liked it. Let me know your thoughts and feedback. Thank you so much.